Hey guys, um, today's video is going to be about God's blessings and how God blesses us. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background and how it happens, how it works. So, um, a little bit of backstory. I had a really, really poor job back then where I would afford my rent. Everything was paid off. The only thing I could not pay was for groceries and um, other small things. So, like, for example, car taxes and stuff like that. Could not afford those. Um, God had ended up using me in that situation because of the fact I was using my money poorly to, um, buy dumb stuff. So, like, um, expensive speakers, um, video games, you know. I was blasting my money on pointless stuff that didn't matter. Um, and I think God was teaching me a lesson because... With my job, volume started becoming down. Um, stuff got more expensive because of inflation. Um, obviously, the whole COVID situation made things worse for me, and inflation got out of hand. Um, at that time, I've been constantly been told to go to the warehouse multiple times. I'm not going to give names of the business or the company to hold them um, so I don't get my ass sued. Um, I was stressed. I was really depressed. I was very mental. But the only thing that I had left was to pray. To pray and to, and to worship. I literally started working on listening to more Christian rap music. Christian rock music. Just getting the door open to start listening to more Christian music-like stuff. Um... And I started sustaining myself from the bad things in my life. Where I thought was smoking, drinking, depressive thoughts, anger. I eliminated all of those thoughts throughout that time. And that was a solid month. So when you're going through a struggle, just know God always has your back. Always have that in your heart. Know it and be excited about it. I can tell you numerous times in my life where I've been really depressed and felt doubt. We have all felt that. But... Deep in my heart, no matter how fake it to you make it, I felt like I knew if I continue saying this, if I continue repeating myself good stuff and good energies and good vibes and keeping myself positive, I know something is going to happen. So throughout that time, day in and day out of a shift of 10 hours, I'm at the warehouse listening to Christian music, worshiping, worshiping, because I just know something good is going to come. I know something good is going to come. I just knew it. And you have to have that same vibe. Even if, like I said, fake it till you make it. Even if you have to do that, do it. Trust me. Just do it. Trust yourself. Give yourself to God. And He will give you a plan. And He will give you what you deserve. And through mercy and through grace, He gives it to us. Even though because of the fact that we're all sinners. Yeah, we're all sinners. We all do messed up things. You know. Um, God still loves us. God still cares about us. Peter denied... Knowing Jesus three times. Um, Matthew was a tax collector. People hated tax collectors. Um, and look at them. They had their walk too. And that's what always makes me reassured that I know that I could be as messed up as I am in the head. And I know that I'm trying my best to keep myself straight into God's path. So I know I can rely on God with anything that I have. Because I trust and believe with him. So throughout this time, I was worshiping Mary for like a month straight. I was staying myself for any type of um, addictions or toxicity. So it was alcohol, smoking. I think I stopped masturbating too throughout that time because I was just so... When you're so depressed and you're so in your head, you don't want even want to do those things. That's how bad it is. And I guess this is, you can consider this kind of like a testimony because I'm admitting a lot of faults. Um, and I, I think I would stay in the... Spending any type of money like I literally only paid my bills and that's it Like even though I'd window shop and say oh, this was very nice. This is a very nice anime figure. Or maybe this is a really nice watch I didn't want to buy those things. I had to use whatever money I was left over to buy groceries and stuff like that So I've stained myself for quite a long bit and eventually I got a phone call and um, that phone call involved a really well-paying job a really really well-paying job that pays well above than what I deserved and I was shocked. I'm like, 
damn right, this is God. This is God doing this, for sure, I know. And that's my testimony with God, like seriously, like this is things that happened in my life that I believe God is existing and he's here, he's here, close to us, mentally and spiritually, he's close to us. I don't want to make things too real because of the fact that reels, um, they're too short and look at this already last like five minutes. I'll try to cut it short in a bit. Here's my second testimony. There was times in my life where I've hit a dead end. This is my first realizing that God has blessed me. Um, my car had ended up breaking down because of the fact that um, I had ended up spending my money lavishly on car parts and um, making my car look nice and look fresh. Um, it, it was nothing like that at all. And um, it broke down constantly. I had to take the bus from like a 30 minute bus ride. From where I was at to the school that was taken in Porter and Chester. We'll leave it as, as that. Um, I had to take the bus. had to pay for the bus consistently. I had to pay for all these bills. I had to pay for my student loans, which I'm still paying for. And they, that's another God's blessing. Again, they forgave student loans, which is a blessing in my heart, bro. Which is a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Um... I was taking the bus, I was depressed mentally, I was exhausted, mentally exhausted. I was sleeping on a food tent at my mom's house. And um, that shit was covered in bed bugs, but long story short. It was infested with bed bugs, and I was sleeping on that for quite a long bit. So I struggled, they struggled hard. Like, I didn't have a lot of stuff in my room or anything like that. Like, I literally struggled until I, one day, something rang to my head. Like, I can't be relying on myself anymore. I cannot be relying on myself. I'm still heartbroken over a high school crush and I'm still struggling and scratching pennies out of the carpet and out of the couch to survive and I couldn't do that anymore and I'm like God if you have a plan for me please and I begged God every single day for a better tomorrow and one day I just decided to change I decided to change I was working out I decided to lose weight I started to quit smoking throughout that time I removed every single Thing that was bad for me, as the Bible says, like, it was just, that's when I realized that God was by my side. Even though I wasn't baptized at that time, I knew God was by my side, and I knew he was there every single time. And I know sometimes for people, it can be kind of um, upsetting when he's not there. It can be kind of upsetting when you don't get a reply back. And it can be upsetting the fact that you can't, keep on holding on any longer but i can tell you right now keep on holding on whatever struggles you go through family member being sick in the hospital financial struggles life struggles in general um god is always there by your side just trust and believe in him read your bible consistently um she want me out to read my bible consistently um so i so I, i'm not no perfect man either and he showed me signs he shows me signs so if he shows me signs, even though I live my life a little bit lavishly here and there, because we're not perfect human beings, I pretty much think that he can help you guys too. And I know he can. You just got to trust and believe with him. Always. Um, write down your goals. Write down everything that you have going on in your life that's making you overwhelmed. What I used to do is, I'm going to keep this for like 10 minutes so that everybody can finish what they're doing because I know this is probably better if you guys are listening to this if you want to put your phone down um as I brag about this perfect um write your things down write down the things that are, are stressing out your mind to give your mind a break what you have to do is sit down and turn off the light turn on the tv let some ambient light come in from outside or turn on a normal night light and sit down with yourself think to the sky for a double like think to the sky for like a minute and just let your mind race and race and race and write down what you're feeling. Like one time I ended up writing myself maybe about like three pages full from top to bottom of a normal no notebook paper. Stapled it. I hanged it on my wall. Literally I just wrote out whatever is stressing me out. My feelings, my life stuff. What you can do also is keep a prayer box. Get a small box at like, um, like that big and put your prayers in there. Write down prayers. God, help me with this put in a prayer box. God, please help me with that. Put in a prayer box. Fill it up to the top. And once you realize that things start doing better in your life, open them again to remind yourself, 
God's listening to you. I'll tell you this, God's listening to you. Open it, you're going to be like, wow, God really gave that to me. Wow, God really gave this to me. He's there, he's there for sure. Um, sometimes God can exclude you from certain toxic people too. So when you're going through a very, very tough time and people don't text you back, people don't want to meet up with you, people don't want to hear you out. This happens because of the fact that God maybe just wants you to be alone and think to yourself. Because sometimes people's opinions can be very um, can be very toxic to your own head, especially if they're not people of the church. Um, especially if there's if they're people that are very um, I'm gonna say for vaguer terms, devilish. Like they do devilish behavior, um, stealing, robbing, um, greedy for money, stuff like that. Um, these people can actually ruin the blessings that God gives you. So God usually sometimes would be like, how I think about it is God usually says, stop, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Asking these people when you should be following this path. This is, this is the path. Don't go to them. And this, I feel like how God speaks to me. Um, and I think about it, about these things and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Because why would God want me to go back to these people and influence my behavior? So sometimes God will leave you by yourself. So you can give yourself time to read the Bible. And even not even that. Do you know how I started out? Um, I'll save that for another video. Um, and that's it. God's blessings, they come slowly but surely. And when it blesses you, it blesses you. And you'll never be disappointed in how he blesses you because it's always more than you've ever expected. Always. Always, always, always. And it's a blessing for sure. And it's great. Speak speak good of yourself. <laughs> always. Speak good of yourself. So I'm going to cut the video here. Um, I'll probably be posting another video later on about um, how I started out my Christian journey. And the pointers that I keep. Alright? Peace.